ass bump I can't even see my toes I'm so pregnant Can't fit any clothes Don't ask me the name I don't know I said baby don't kick me I might just go pee pee I can't stand no waiting I just want some sushi Better show up a tab Switch much money online I'm straight up in there so much Oughta give me a job you put time tell me who that, who that Breathe on through that, through that Put the bag up by the door I thought you knew that, knew that I be Hey guys, it's Lisa And it's Friday, June 27th 2014 and you're watching my 30 week pregnancy vlog. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'll be 31 weeks pregnant and I'll be having my baby shower. I'm super excited. My mom and my aunt are the prominent planners and myself um, of the baby shower and my mother-in-law and uh, my grandmother and my uncle also helped out with expense and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. I'm really excited. And uh, you'll notice that I'm taking the vlog in a different spot. It's in our room. It's because it's really late. It's like 11 o'clock at night. And I've had quite a busy day doing last minute errands for the baby shower. And um, I got to have an old friend over for an hour or so, and that was really nice. She brought us a gift for the baby shower, and hopefully she can make it tomorrow. But if not, it's we really appreciate that you got us a gift for honesty. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, so <laughs> my arm hurts. I'm so used to having it up on the tripod, but don't really feel like setting it up. It's so late, and I still have to finish editing my what I eat in a day vlog um, with regards to the whole fructose malabsorption diet so that'll be up before this video then this video will go up I ordered a couple things on Amazon we really wanted a baby book and there was a five-year baby book that's like bound with spirals and it's even got like a, a um, page marker and it's for the first five years it's so cute it was only um, 17 bucks plus tax on Amazon and Amazon.ca and so in order to get free shipping you have to spend 25 bucks so I found an $8 toy it's this little cow and you twist it let me see here so cute. That I'll be like putting on perhaps, I don't know, the dresser or something uh, as honesty is going to sleep and yeah, who knows what we'll get at the baby shower tomorrow. So anyone who sent something in, I've got six gifts from six different people from the P.O. Box and I really want to thank you, anyone who sent something. I didn't get a chance to go check the P.O. Box today which is unfortunate, but if you did send something and it's in there, I swear it'll be in next week's vlog. The baby shower vlog probably won't be up until maybe Monday, Tuesday or something like that with footage, pictures and such because we couldn't find anyone at like a decent price to do a video for us. And as much as I really would have loved to have a videographer with really good camera equipment and stuff, I mean, I've got decent equipment. I don't, see, I'm, I don't necessarily need a video to be HD to watch it. There's a lot of HD sticklers out there that get really mad if they're watching a vlog and it doesn't go into HD. But I don't look for quality, I, I don't look for quality in picture. I do in sound because I want to be able to hear it, but in picture, as long as I can see it and it's not like, you know, totally terrible and shaky all the time and I don't know, like, shakiness doesn't even matter sometimes. If I can hear what you're saying and your message is clear, that's all that matters to me. So why people get all in a huff about that, I don't know. The importance here is the information and are you interested in hearing what that vlogger has to say. So the baby has been moving quite a bit this week, like crazy amounts and like moving either side. Can't wait to go for the ultrasound to find out like how she's placed inside of me. Is her head going closer to the entrance now 
or is she going to be a breech baby? I hope not, because that means cesarean automatically, unless they can turn her. I went to a salon the other day so that I could get my eyebrows waxed and get a facial, pedicure, manicure. I mean, I don't really do anything like that to treat myself, and it, <laughs> I've never been to a facial. I've got my eyebrows waxed like maybe three years ago or something. I used to get manicures maybe like five years ago every few months or something like that and pedicures? Well, I've only had one. So I was like, it's time and my feet were cracked and just, oh my god, it felt so good and getting the facial. But the problem is, is that after she did the eyebrow waxing, I broke out really bad. And now it's like really dry and itchy and there's little bumps. They're not as noticeable now, but oh, I'm so upset. Because like, you know, it's not just a long weekend that I'm celebrating, it's my baby shower. And as I said before, I can be vain sometimes. So hopefully the makeup will cover it, and um, if not, oh well, this is me, I'm pregnant, you know, I have to deal with it. And maybe it was a reaction to something she used, but it was sugaring, it wasn't waxing, I don't know why I'm saying waxing, but I got them sugared. I've been getting a bit of heartburn this week, like every couple days I'll have heartburn, which hasn't really been around much during the pregnancy except when I first was pregnant and didn't know it yet. That was like my giveaway um, that I was, and so, but it's been intense in the last while, and it's because, you know, I'm like, I'm not fully on the fructose malabsorption diet yet, but I do some days that it's like full, almost fully, or, you know, I'm giving it as much as I can until we have items that are out of the house that have that in it, because we're not going to waste food, you know, like, with tomatoes or onion and like today I got um, some Burger King and I don't always do that but I was really wanting it and so on my burger there was tomato and onion and I got heartburn so that was not fun but it was good at the same time so um, I had like barely any nausea just a tiny tiny little bit but nothing Nothing to be like, ugh, about. So, I'm kind of happy about that. Oh my god, the pelvis is so heavy, guys. I swear to god, and when she's moving around, I swear she's just going to punch right out of my vagina. Or head bunt or kick. It's, it's getting intense now. Like, there's only nine weeks left. Or less, or more, hopefully less. Um, but not too less, obviously. Sometimes when I'm trying, to, when I'm getting dressed and putting my pants on or my my uh, panties on, that is a difficult situation because, um, yeah, it's like hard to lift my legs sometimes because of how heavy the pelvis feels and like the little bit of pain that I have there. And I don't know if I would necessarily call it pain. It's more like pressure, but it still feels weird and I don't like lifting my leg because of it, but obviously I gotta get dressed. So yeah, I kinda have no choice, right? Sleeping, I've been sleeping like pretty well, except yesterday I only got like two and a half, maybe three hours of sleep. And then today I was like, go, 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 and like tomorrow's gonna be go, go, go because the baby shower. And then after that we're gonna go to a friend's place for an hour or two and kind of just hang out. Then after that, I'm going to a friend's birthday. And then like next week, there's a plethora of appointments. I finally have an appointment for my family doctor to get a second opinion on the breast issues and the, the mucus issues and all this stuff going on. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then I have an appointment for our cats to, um, one of them's going to get blood work done, and then they're also going to um, get the get some dental work done, like scaling and um, anything polishing stuff that they need because they have like red inflamed gums and. 
the back and so something needs to be done. And then, uh, I believe the next weekend I have a photo shoot out of town, which is awesome. I'm excited. This is my first out of town photo shoot except when I went traveling and I didn't really do a, a photo shoot per se when I was traveling, but I did take a lot of photos. And so anyway, I'm so excited. And then Sunday, I have a baby shower to go to. <laughs> It's like a non-stop next few weeks, and I love photography. However, being on maternity leave, early maternity leave, because of like, oh, I have like some fatigue too, but being on early maternity leave and then not really being on maternity leave can be a little, you know, little, not stressful, but it's just... You know, I know that I have to fulfill these clients, and and I'm fine with that for the most part. It's just that it's going to be really time-consuming, and uh, but starting August 1st, I get to relax, and even though I'll still have OB appointments every week at that point, um, it's going to be pretty smooth sailing, or at least I'm praying that it will for both honesty and myself. So that's all for this week that I have to update you about. Not very much, um, but as you, as I told you, you can go on and watch the um, What I Eat in a Day vlog, and then on Monday or Tuesday or sometime uh, around then, you can look for the baby YouTube baby shower. So thank you so much for all your support, all your love, your prayers. The, uh, the gifts that you guys sent, I'm so excited to open them tomorrow, and um, it would be nice if you guys could be there with us, but at least you can be there with us in spirit and in mind, and you can watch the vlog, <laughs> and uh, hopefully you can get a decent depiction. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you have a wonderful day, or a wonderful evening, or a wonderful weekend, wherever you are. Namaste.